smooth jazz was really popular, especially in the 90s. And somebody who exemplifies the style that I'm going after would be a Paul Hardcastle. And you would have also heard a lot of this in video game soundtracks from the time when modules like the JV1080 or the O1RW basically gave you a band in a box. So you didn't need to have a bassist, a keyboard player, a vocalist, and all these different folks to compose a full tune. You could just use one synth to make an entire song. And so that's the vibe we're going for here. We are using the Korg Triton, which came out in the late 90s, but that essence is still the same. That rompler sound is still there. Now, let's start with the beat here. And what some folks may not know is a lot of these romplers actually have drum kits within them. And so the Korg Triton has a lot of great drum kits. And basically what you get are a bunch of drum samples mapped across your keyboard. And this is the jazz brush kits here that we have for the chord beat. And if we just look at the chord beat here, there's really four main elements. We have our kick, nice reverb on it. We have this little hat and this other little shaker sound. And so you'll see with the shaker sound, we're just playing a nice steady. And then we also have this hat here that's kind of playing a similar type of steady sound layered up with the kick. And if we play just this portion here, this is what we get. Heavy usage of velocity down here, right? So some of these kicks, some of the ghost kicks, we're dropping the velocity a little just to try to humanize things. And then what I did was I stacked this up with a snare. And the reason I put this snare on a different layer here is if I open up the Triton, we're using the same drum kit, but I wanted to send this snare to a reverb over here. And so you'll see this snare is being sent to ascend and it's a reverb over there just to get that nice, that nice 80s cheesy snare sound. And so if we come back here, and we look at the snare pattern here. We have two core patterns here. And same thing here. You'll see we're playing with the velocities, the length of the notes, and then we're offsetting some of these hits off the grid to play off of that kick, kind of make things sound a little sloppy, uh, again, give it that little bit of humanization to it. And then we bring in some percussive hits. So if we go into the Triton, same kit here, jazz brush kit. And what we're doing is we have this little delay sound here. If I could, here we go. And we have these congas, bongas, whatever we want to call them. And you'll see we're dropping the velocity, kind of artificially create this delay sound, but we're also sending these to a delay and reverb on the send here. And then we have that little shaker sound too, kind of doing the same thing. So we start at pretty high velocity and then with each note hit, we drop it down. And so this gives it that nice atmospheric effect. You would have heard this a lot in ambient jungle tunes from the time, just thought it was very appropriate for this song. And those are the drums. Now, the bass here, we're using a Korg Triton. This is the dark R&B bass. Really nice sound there. And we're just playing a little bit of a ditty here. Uh, if I can pull up my MIDI. You'll see we're not going crazy here. We're just kind of playing at our root key here, C sharp. And we're just playing off of that kick and with it. And we're not changing notes. It's just a very... Steady bass line almost reminds me of like a trance song uh, in some ways, so. Right, very simple, nice groovy bass. I didn't want the bass to be the star of the show. I just wanted it to be there providing that backbone, a little bit of stank face on top of everything driving the song along. All right, now we gotta get into synths here. And of course, we are 
in with the chord Triton. And this first sound we have here. This is the Wavetable Electric Piano, which is in the stock uh, program content of the Korg Triton. One of my favorite EPs within the Triton. The Triton has a ton of great sounding EPs. In this one, we're playing a minor nine here. If I come into the MIDI, uh, our root is a C sharp, and then you'll see we're playing that C sharp. And then we go up to a D sharp. And we're using that chord device in Bitwig, which kind of gives us that old school sound within here. And then what we did was stack that up with the chord Triton as well. And if we come in here, another wavetable EP. But what we're doing here is we're playing single notes. So we're not playing chords here. We're following that same progression, just transposed up to a C sharp five to a D sharp five. We stack them up. And that gives you a little more atmosphere, right? We're bringing in some higher frequency sounds on top of that EP, makes things a little more interesting. And then, you know, the other thing I'd call out here is pay close attention to your velocity, especially in like a smooth jazz type tune. If you actually know how to play a piano, perfect. You could just play very lightly. I don't, I'm an idiot. So I'm using this velocity curve here just to keep the velocity down because with something like an electric piano, you're gonna get a much softer ginger sound. All right, next thing we have up here is a high string. You gotta have a high string, it helps create that emotion. And this is the slow string patch from the Korg Triton. The higher up you play, the more ear piercing and uh, emotional that sounds. So what we're doing with the string here is just playing a single note progression. Again, C sharp to D sharp. And you'll see that string is following along with the EPs. That's what we have with the string. A little bit of automation to fade it out as we transition into a new section here, because we don't just want to cut it off automatically. So a slow fade out on the string, moving into the next phase. All right, couple other things we have here. From the Korg Triton, this little bell lead sound here. The Tropico bells. Really great, these types of bell patches are in so many different romplers from the time period, and they make for great lead sounds. And so we have this section here, we're playing a little bit of a lick here, and that's kind of it. And so if we solo this part. Then with everything. You hear that EP chugging along with that progression on top, that bell lead, oh, it's just a, a staple of that 90s sound. Then you need some type of like instrumentation. What better than a saxophone, especially a saxophone from a rompler? This is the soft tenor sax. Oh man, you can hear the spit on that reed uh, from whenever this was sampled. Very nice, very cheesy. Uh, love the sound of that, and so we have this little sax lick here. Check the velocity, very low.
and you don't need a studio musician. You can do that yourself on the Korg Triton, and there you go. And then to stack up with that, you gotta get a guitar sound in there. So of course the Korg Triton has the jazz guitar patch amongst many other guitar sounds. Really nice sound there. And so we're kind of playing a lick with that as well down here at the end. Next thing we have up, a little bit of atmosphere. So from the Korg Triton, Frozen Glaciers patch here. Just a single note during this breakdown, sounds like this. Stacked up. Right, very subtle, but it helps bed up that atmosphere to make the tune a, a little more atmospheric. Now, other common sounds you would have heard in smooth jazz R&B from the 90s. I've done videos on this before, the Mark Tree. And that Mark Tree I'm using on transition elements. So, you know, we finish our eight bars here, we move into the sax lick. And when we drop that first beat in that phrase, we drop the mark tree with it. So stereotypical, you gotta use it. And then vocals. So you may think here, oh, I need to go get a sample. No, the Gorg Triton actually has some vocal samples within it. This is the gospel voice set. A lot of vocals in there, you're gonna have some cheesy vocals, and so we layered up these. And that's it for vocals. And then I'm not gonna lie, I cheated, and I used a reverse cymbal sample down here. Thinned it out with a high pass EQ into a big delay into a big reverb so it carries out into that atmospheric section. The Triton does have reverse cymbals in it, I'm fairly certain, but I think I just got uh, antsy and just wanted to finish the tune. And so that is how we composed this little ditty here. You know, making music in this fashion, you know, with just one synth and all the sounds within it, I think really helps give you this cohesive sound that takes all the sonic characteristics from the synth that you're using. Now the Triton or really any ROM player for this time period, if you want to set out to make a song similar to this, challenge yourself to use just that synth from the drums to the bass to all the various sounds within it so just really fun way to go about things and again i think it helps with one a cohesive sound but two is giving you that throwback 90s sound as well hope you guys found this video useful if you want this project file along with many other project files for other videos i've done go check me out on patreon where you can get this one and many more going forward until then have a good one